grown man business. Got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. Alright, I got a special um, episode I want to talk about. I want to talk about the top running backs of the league. Who do y'all think is the best running back this year? Just just this year, this season, so far. Um, I mean, you got, you know, everybody know AP. I've been talking about Adrian Peterson for the past three weeks now. Todd Gurley, been talking about him for the past month. Um, Chris Johnson, I've been talking about him for the past two weeks. You know, um, he's playing some good football out there in Arizona. Uh, who else? I've been talking about um, Chris Ivey for the Jets. Been talking about him too, man. I'm gonna give y'all some stats, man, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna make this a a, a discussion about um, put some grease on my beard, make sure it ain't shining too too bright on on camera. But we're gonna talk about who y'all think is the best wide receiver. I mean, running back. Excuse me. That'll be the next my next series, but. We're going to do running backs right now. Who's the best running back so far this year? All right. Aiden Peterson is number one, man. He just got some monster, monster st- stats, man. He He's just been, what, two or three weeks straight, 200-plus yards? All right. He's at number one, right? Almost at 1,000 yards already. So this Sunday, he should be at 1,000 yards plus. Um, he had 961 yards with five touchdowns. That's good, man. That's real good because uh, he's almost 200 yards past the the, the number two person, which is Chris Johnson. That's the closest guy to him. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, Adrian Peterson at number one, 961 yards, five touchdowns. Chris Johnson. Play for the Arizona Cardinals now. He's at uh, 734 yards and uh, three touchdowns. Devontae Freeman. Now, he started off on fire with the Falcons. Right now, I don't know what happened. Past two or three games, the Falcons been slacking. But uh, I thought he was going to be, like, in the number one slot the way he started off. But he's uh, he's at number three, so that's not bad. He's at... uh, 721 yards with nine touchdowns. He got the most. Out of all the running backs, he got the most touchdowns. So I, I give you that. Ty Gurley, he come in number four. I was kind of shocked. I thought he'd be at number two slot the way he been playing. But um, some games, you know, I think it was like maybe a couple games that uh, the Rams really didn't have no real offense. It was a defensive struggle. when, Like when they played uh, – the Seahawks. It was it was defense and defense. They didn't have any, um, they didn't have any <laughs> big offense, uh, big offensive game that day. But um, yeah, Ty Gurley's at seven hundred and nine yards, five touchdowns. That's pretty good. <clears throat> but um, I'm gonna keep a close eye on him. He's um, he's gonna be creeping up, man. Uh, I'll say if he don't get number one by the end of the season, he'll be like close to number two. You know, Chris Johnson's playing some good football too, so that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty good, man. See them two right there, and Asian Peterson, he just he's too far ahead of the game, man. He had to get hurt to really uh, uh, drop drop from being number one in uh, in rushing yards. But uh, yeah, Ty Gurley is at seven hundred nine yards, five touchdowns. Latavius Murray for the Oakland Raiders. I like that guy. Uh, I'm gonna do a special on him. I like how he's playing. I don't, I don't know. I might do it next week, but uh, I got a couple other guys I'm gonna be covering soon. But uh, he's definitely on that list. All right, Latavius Murray, and he got my last name, so I'm, I might get that jersey. <laughs> he's at 678 yards, three touchdowns. That's good. That's pretty good. Um, Jonathan Stewart, Carolina Panthers. Now he's uh he's got a little age on him. He, you know, him and uh Agent Peterson should be around. The, he might be a little bit, a little bit older than a- AP. You know, I think he came in the league a couple years before AP. But uh, 
He's still doing it, man. He's still running and playing some good football. He's at uh, number seven with 662 yards, four touchdowns. Now, this is my boy right here, Mark Ing Ingram. I liked him when he was with Alabama. Uh, I wish the Saints would have played him two years ago, man. They had him on the bench. They had too many running backs, running backs by committee and all that dumb shit. But uh, Mark Ingram, he's finally getting his just due, his props, his playing time. He's at number eight with 661 yards and five touchdowns. Chris Ivory, uh, he started off, I think he was number one at one point. So the Jets offense kind of been slacking too, you know. Um, he's at what, number nine with 643 yards. And six touchdowns. Yeah, they need to pick up their offense, man. Cause he, he, had a, he was starting off real good, man. He's real physical, a power runner, downhill. Remember I told you all about that. All right, number 10 is uh, Justin Forsett for Baltimore. He's uh, 615 yards and two touchdowns. There's not much offense going on in Baltimore, so I'm not surprised. Uh, this one, before we leave, man, I want to um, talk about this right here because this is kind of impressive. Pittsburgh got two running backs in the top 15 list. And that's uh, Le'Veon Bell at number 12. And you know he's hurt for the rest of the season. This is where he left off at. 556 yards and three touchdowns. That's good. D'Angelo Williams, number 15. He's at uh, 534 yards and five touchdowns. <sighs> man, Pittsburgh got two plays on the top list. But uh, all right, man. Let's talk about it. Who y'all think, who y'all like um, as a running back? Who you think is the best this year so far? You already know my answer, man. Adrian Peterson, he's a beast. Grown man business, baby. <laughs> I'm out.